I would have ended my life a long time ago like, well, I can't create anything good, you kidding? Wizard of Oz. No, I can see that. I'm glad I had to stop whatever the hell I was doing, so... Oh no, there's a meter, and it's going down! Riveting gameplay. And they sure are terrorizing the citizens of Townsville, aren't they? Yeah, they are, actually, as a matter of fact. You have to save the dinosaurs from the grem gremlins. Apparently Satan lives underneath the, uh, the planet. Is that the twist at the end? <laughs> <laughs> Never fears. Once again, the day is saved. It's gonna be like that one episode of Doctor Who where they just randomly find Satan in space. Uh... What? Yeah! There's an episode of Doctor Who where they find the impossible planet, which is just a planet that is floating, like, right outside a black hole. And they go into these deep caves underneath the planet, and they find a Satan. Sure. And, and then the Doctor throws the planet into the black hole and kills Satan. <laughs> our, Lord and, <laughs> our Lord and Savior, the Doctor. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Doctor Who is an awesome but really weird show. <laughs> there's this there's this whole fucking scene where it's like the doctor like has I can't remember the exact flow, but like in order to get to where Satan is, he has to do something weird, like jump into the core of the planet, which would like naturally kill him. But since it's like this weird existence kind of thing he doesn't heroes. die look fella i'm not paid enough to keep getting you guys out of trouble. and then he has this whole conversation with satan yeah, it's like hey well, satan thanks thanks for the game star fox adventures <laughs> I i'm so apathetic about this item now to get super excited about this item So Zane, I'm, I hope you're prepared to uh, collect another 30 scarabs so you can go buy something. What the fuck is this? Really? Come back when you need me! I don't... I don't even know anymore, man. Yeah, um... So, this is once again a paywall. <laughs> Except this time, there is no way in hell we could be prepared for it 100%. Because you can't. You cannot. Oh, I think I think they can, and I think they did. Like you can be 70% prepared for it, which we are. Yeah, fair enough. But you cannot be 100% prepared for this paywall. I mean, given you get past it pretty quickly, but, like, I don't have words for this. It's so dumb. Okay, it says I need to buy something shiny in gold. Was it the, uh... Yeah. I, I already told you it's 130. I just wanted to make sure. Also, yes, it's the Snowhorn Archive. Which apparently is just the fucking root thing that they eat, but gold-plated. 
Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, wait, isn't this just like a root? Time to get super stoked about this root. But, I mean, like, why would they know? This is Slippy saying, hey, now that you have more dung beetles, just buy something. Hopefully it'll, it'll work out in the end. Look, if we've already established that Satan is under the planet, and apparently Slippy is all-knowing, obviously Slippy's God. Oh, of course. So now we go back to Snowhorn Wastes, or, or whatever, Pandera yes. Drifts. Pan yep, Pandera Drifts. There, there was a, there was a snow waste in Metroid Prime, right? There was a waste. yeah, it's it Pandora Drifts. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's where you see Ridley Shadow. I don't remember that. It, it's like the first thing that happens when you uh when you enter the area. The, there's like a shadow on the ground. And you look up, and it's Ridley. And that's that's pretty much it. And that's that's Ridley's second appearance in the game, and then his third appearance is his boss fight. <laughs> Ridley, like in all of the Prime games, for being the even more than Mother, mother Brain, I think the quintessential quintessential uh, Metroid villain <laughs> does not actually show up that much in the games. <laughs> He shows up more in other M than he shows up in uh, the Prime games. Yeah, but we don't talk about other M. <laughs> Look, I love other M for one reason, and one reason alone, and that is it canonically established that Ridley is a Pokemon. I. <laughs> Ridley is a Pokemon. You can't deny it. No, I, I guess I can't. He has three three forms of evolution that... Uh, he starts out cute and fuzzy and then becomes ferocious. He is a Pokemon. So... I hear you rescued my daughter. Oh, how I long to see her again. Okay, so this was not the person to talk to. Uh, let me see if I can find where the fuck you need to go. Uh, I don't know. God. I hate it when we get the directions that's like, make sure you start from this position, and there we go. Uh, okay, um, apparently there's a ice wall somewhere that you can melt with Tricky's Flame Breath now. Okay. And it's by an old shoehorn. Snowhorn. I keep wanting to say shoe. It's it's one letter off. Well, two letters. It looks similar. Something about blah blah blah. Rivers too cold to swim in. I I want to say this thing over here that I'm trying to jump on. Woohoo! Then maybe I should, should I write it down? Ooh. Ooh, should I be daring and ride this all the way down instead of checking what's in that cave? Jump on the iceberg to iceberg until you get to the other side. I think I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna be a fucking rebel. Oh yeah. You're so cool, Zane. I wish I could be a rebel like you. Hey, I could buy a cheat token. <laughs> what? Uh. Uh. <laughs> what? I just got to the video and it's just like. 
The fucking iceberg just like phases out of existence. Yeah. Look, dude, I was just way too cool for that thing. Were you, no, you would be too hot for it. Same difference. Shut up. Same. Your jokes don't make sense. They make perfect sense. What are you talking about? Also, I, I, I can't believe I never noticed this before, but the fucking spitter thingies die with, like, stock cougar sound effect. Oh my god, they do. <laughs> really bad. It's like, I think I heard that same sound effect when I used to play World of Warcraft. Woohoo, I got a bump dead here. I'm trying to, like, look at your map to try and figure out where the fuck, like, it would be. Because right, the water's too cold. Go behind the sh jump in here. Just jump from iceberg to iceberg until you get to the other side. That's all it says. Mmm. Probably somewhere else. Yeah, I think that's a fair bet at this point. Oh, you know what? You're probably supposed to go underneath the tree and go further up the river. Maybe. I like when it goes to night and I can't see shit. Nope, that's just the black hole of nothingness that icebergs come out of. So, I just restocked the fuel cells over there, I guess, by shooting that switch? I have no idea. Uh, um, I guess so? <laughs> uh, try going up the hill. Oh yeah, I... I have a feeling it's up there, but there's something else. Going no. up river. Oh, okay. I, I thought I saw I mean, something over here. I, I mean, if you see if you see an ice wall, just go for that. That's what we're looking for. Internally thinking, come on, game, just do something. Give me something to talk about. I got nothing right now. Oh, what a sad day! My golden ring. Oh, there we go. Stolen. So he's the elder one because he's all gray. I don't Not it. This item was stolen from me many years ago. I believe it was around the same time that a strange floating dinosaur visited the wastes. In return, I will give you the chance to prove yourself. Oh, get it? The shopkeeper stole the thing. Yep. The call of the snowhorn will begin your challenge. Oh, hey, yeah, remember that one time you sighed him? Oh, I love races. Um, I think you were supposed to open up the flame thing beforehand because you had to race through that. I... I guess so. Uh, I'm assuming since it turned me around, I'm supposed to be going back down, right? I have no idea. I didn't read that hard. That... that, that far. Uh, burn the ice sheet and go through it. So yeah, you're going the wrong way. Well, why does it turn you... Because Star Fox Adventures, that's why. Sure. Star Fox Adventures is, in fact, now my yeah. synonym for bad game design. There's something here! Flame! <laughs> At least it teleports you back when you fail. That's a godsend, I'm not gonna lie. So, it's a lot more than most games do, frankly. But it keeps resetting my quick cast.
this might be for the best just to go through here before doing the ah, probably. challenge in full. <laughs> Oh, I was about to say, did this thing despawn because it went off camera? Because I'd hope so. Uh, everything else here, I will err on the side of caution and say I sh shouldn't care. Put put the horn on your quick command. Oh, right, right. Um, apparently what it is, is while running the course, there'll be a bunch of, there'll be more of those little plate things. Mm-hmm. And you have to blow the horn at each of them. The music fades out. Gotta do the stupid ass cutscene. are never really that great in video games, honestly. Well, no, of course not, but... In unless it's a game built around movement. Speaking of movement, this fucking thing just moved in front of me and I'm not able to get out of it. Oh, Comedy of errors. No game had good foot races. I guess you kind of call them foot races, but they were really something else. Uh, infamous. And by Link, Infamous too. Yeah. Those were good games. I'm looking forward to a uh, second song. Is that technically Infamous 3? Yes. It's really weird because... The end of Infamous 2 suggests, yeah. Well, no, no, no not that. Um, so, Infamous... I, I'm guessing you play them, but the Infamous games had... There's an organization involved in the games called The First Sun. Yes. So, when you hear the subtitle of the game being called The Second Sun, you assume it has something to do with that, which I did for a couple months until E3 happened and they showed a trailer for it and apparently it just deals with two brothers. 